Now, there are a few of us that do like to save the odd shackle by servicing our own cars. Undoing a sump plug, draining the oil, putting it back in is quite easy, but we have to remember to occasionally change that oil filter. Now, there are the right and wrong ways to do it. So, here's the way that I have tackled it on a number of occasions. A screwdriver through it and undo it. Oil comes down your arm, goes all over you. But there is a guy that knows how to do it properly and that's Matt Craig from United Fuel Injection. Right, yeah, that's not normally an accepted method. No. What we try and do is get a, a professional tool from an auto shop like we have just purchased your replacement filter from. Place it on the bottom of the filter, undo it. Once you've got the filter off, place it aside. Grab your new filter. Uh, lubricate with a film of oil. That way, the rubber doesn't tear once you try and put it on. Because if there's no lubrication on it, it'll just tear the rubber out. You'll have leaks and you'll be doing it all again. So once that's off, spin it on until it just touches the face, then half to three quarters of a turn. Do not over tighten it. You'll either squash the o-ring, it won't seal, or you'll squash the canister of the oil field itself. You do that by hand, don't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Yeah. So thanks, Matt. No now, if you need any information, and especially on diesel, it's the United Fuel Injection. So, Matt, if somebody needs any information, just give you a contact. Yeah, any small advice we're happy to give. You know, you just give us a call and we'll talk you through whatever you need to get through. So what do they need to click on to? They click on um, www.unitedfuel or follow the links on Zoom TV.